you're looking at the very first frame in shot 13, which is the shot where Georgia walks onto the railway platform having wandered around the streets for most of the evening. And we originally planned for this shot to be a nice wide symmetrical shot, a very Kubrick-esque type style and, and look to it. But when we came to film it, we found that there were various um, flower beds and rubble and all sorts of things directly where we needed to sit the camera in order to create that shot. So we ended up being just to the right of where we wanted to be, and that's why this shot has a kind of sloping feel on it, a sloping look when you look at the lines of the brickwork, and particularly the roof line. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, Adobe After Effects. This is the footage in Premiere at the minute. We're going to use After Effects to correct this misalignment of the camera because we're off to, on the right-hand side. So what I'm going to do is grab this footage and just overlay it onto my timeline. There it is, and then I can select it and right click and replace with After Effects Composition. Okay, so I click to After Effects now, and there's my footage loaded into After Effects. Slightly different aspect ratio to in um, Premiere, but it will be correct when it, it's rendered back out to Premiere. Uh, what I want to do with this is um, apply some very basic perspective effects. From After Effects in order to correct the fact that we were off to the right hand side and make it look like it was filmed from the center. So I'm going to click down here, you can see the effects and presets, and click Basic 3D and use this very basic plugin that's been with After Effects for years. So I'll double click on that and that brings this window up, up here. And I've got the option to tilt the footage or I can swivel it as well. I don't want to tilt it, tilting it has does this effect. That's not what I want. What I do want to do is swivel it. Okay, so it kind of looks like it's spinning round on an almost on an axle um, down the centre. Okay, um, and I want to tilt it, swivel it that way. Um, that's minus fourteen degrees. So I've tilted it fourteen degrees away from me, and that looks just about right. You'll see that it looks like a little bit more like I'm flat on, but we've still got this sloping. Um, feel to the brickwork and the, the roof line is clearly sloping um, and the platform edge is sloping as is the bench. I think if anybody sat on that bench they'd probably slide off the end. But if I go to view and show grid you can see that from the grid lines that are parallel to each other and that are straight you can see quite clearly the slope there. So let's take that view off just for the moment. What we're going to do to correct that is rotate the footage using the transform and here I've got, I can alter the position of the footage, the size of it, and also its rotation and opacity. I'm going to rotate it that way. Um, that's three degrees. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Show the grid again. Still not quite right. It's going to be hard to get it perfect because the building itself is not perfectly straight. It's a very old building. Uh, and all of the different things, the chairs and the platform and the window ledges and things, you know, they've all got a, their own particular angle and their own particular slope. So I've changed that to 3.7. That looks about right, doesn't look too bad. I'll turn my grid off. There we go. And you'll notice here you can see the edges of the footage and there's nothing behind it. So what we need to do now is scale and just reposition this footage because it's not quite in the centre as well. So I'm going to scale it make it a bit larger to about there so that the black edges have disappeared okay and if I look around at the edges I can see that there's no, no black let's just check this edge up here okay let's just grab this edge using the hand tool let's just drag that down to the center and zoom in on it a little bit yeah, there's no corner revealed there. I thought there was a little bit of the corner, uh, the black in the corner revealed there, but it's not. Okay. Use the hand tool to drag that back, back to there. Okay, so now that's done. Okay, so we can now save that. And we go back, back down here to Premiere uh, Premi Pro. Sure. So there's the original one. There's our original footage before any correction. Lots of slopes, lots of lines. You can see a little bit of the edge of the anchor map there. When we click to our corrected one, it's a lot more flat on. 
it's got more of that kind of symmetrical feel and straight flat on look about it that we were unable to do on the night because we were unable to get the camera where we wanted. That gives us a shot that's much more close to my original vision for it. Flat on, nice wide open shot. 